Today I'm with Fernando Menes, the founder of Menes Architects. Hi, Mr. Menes, how are you? Oh, very nice. I am very happy of being here today. I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Um, do you think the CECIS region can benefit from biomimicry? I think not only this region, everywhere in the world, must, be, uh, must look around where you are, try to understand the place, and to try to work for the place and on the place, because sometimes the architect lost that. And it's very important to have a common sense. In Poland, where you are in Poland, you must understand the country, you must understand the weather, you must understand the culture. And if you just absorb of the play a lot of knowledge or information, you can make a very nice project for the society. Do you think more music studios and concert halls can benefit from these panels that adjust for the, to make the space larger for the reverber, reverberation of the music? I think this is one of the first experiments that we are making in Toron is one of the first in the world. Uh, depends, not all the building need a chain of the acoustic. In this case, we, we won't uh, just uh, make from the theater to the world one second of reverberance to two, near to two seconds for, for classic music. In the middle you have opera. But I think it's, it's not it's the same listen to Wagner that listen to Mozart. Mozart. Mm. If you listen for Mozart, or Wagner is more from the underground. It's something like a virus, not come from the underground. No? And that, that kind of changes in the acoustic help to really listen. And I, it's, uh, just uh, the, the music chain, the theater need another acoustic condition. If you want to make a multifunctional space, you need to make multifunctional acoustic too. Normally the people resolve that kind of things with absorption, but we, ch we want to change and make a new experience and we are going to change for chain of volume of air. What is your most inter interesting project right now, if I may ask? Well, of course, in this moment, the more important project for me is Torun really find this project the best that I can. Torun is an is amazing city on the river. I am coming to Torun about seven, my first trip is seven years ago. I discovered an amazing city, brick, historical city really, and the people leave the city. And uh, when, when, when we make this building is for this city, we, we analyze the dimension of the city. The Torun is uh, a, you know, it's a huge city. And if you make a concert hall, concert hall is only for one function. Normally, these buildings are all the day sleeping. But if you, when you analyze Torun, you have discovered, oh, this is full of possibilities with Congress. But maybe we can make a DG concert. Or oh, why not we make one day uh, a fashion cut or a big dinners if you have tourists and, and Torun is a tourist city too. And for that we take the decision of propose make a multifunctional space and now everybody are looking for this new building that is going to give a service to the city not only in one way, in really a lot of different uh, ways or support. What is your favorite architectural trend right now? Well, this is very difficult. <laughs> I, I listen to here really a, a lot of very good one. I think the architect, we are layers, no? Mm -hmm. And we absorb to here, to you, to this place, outside, to the garden. Uh, now, for example, I am teaching in Hong Kong. And when I teach there, I learn a lot of new things from the Chinese culture. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't, I think there is a lot of, reference for me, not only one. And did you enjoy the conference? I am learning a lot of, it's, this is like a one university. <laughs> I am very happy, always learning. And how do you see the future of this region due to all the developments that are bound to take place? I think uh, when I arrived to Poland uh, seven and a half years ago, I remember how is Warsaw, how is the country, and I see the feeling how it's every day is the day before that yesterday. Every day is better than the day before. I think uh, 
you are living now, you are young, you are now in a very incredible possibilities that one country every day have more colors, every day the people can have more opportunities for work, beautiful years for your country. Thank you very much, Mr. Fernando Menes. Uh, you're really inspiration to all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much.